What is going on gamers, Avatrix here and today we're going to go over Guild Wars setups and different lineups that you can use. Now this one is a very sniper heavy team. You have Ares, you have Warlock and you have Pixie as well as the Cupa to boost their energy and then you have Trentar to bring them back to life and uh, basically Skull Knight to clean them up at the end. This is very 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 sniper heavy. This is one of those lineups that is very very safe to use but you probably will have to try the base a few times before you can actually clear it out unless their heroes is uh, very very low level so as you can see right here the heroes are getting cleaned out but this is why you bring the Trentar along and the Ares that way they can clean up so the idea here is to have them target that that Skull Knight and then revive them that way when they go in that that Skull Knight is under the Ares Calamity and you have the Pixies uh, debuff which is going to take away that Skull Knight's proc and then from there it's pretty much smooth sailing. There's still a Ghulam there but a Ghulam against a Skull Knight and the rest of the team is just not going to stand any chance. And there we go. We clear out every single hero before we can get the, the uh, over the 50%. So it's very sniper heavy. Um, you can also add in like a Grizzly Reaper. Um, Grizzly Reaper is actually very very powerful if you de uh, double evolve him and it's got like a War God and whatnot. Um, but if you have these specific heroes then this is one of the ones that I would suggest you use. Now this is more of my original lineup. This lineup here is more of a sniper but at the same time you can also go into the base and take them out. The only difference is, is that it doesn't have Pixie. It has a Skull Knight instead and of course you know the idea behind a Skull Knight is he's OP so, so there's really not much else that we need to say. Skull Knight goes in the middle of the base, whatever needs to be cleaned out, and then Trentar uses his revivability to clean out the rest of the base. It is a pretty good strategy, another um, strategy that is very very safe. The only difference is, is that you have the Skull Knight over the Pixie for a more powerhouse of a team going head to head against the other team. So again the idea here is to have them all target that Skull Knight and then bring back that Ares to get them all under Calamity and then Skull Knight clean them out. So there we go. As you can tell their heroes are pretty much all done. Again the only thing that was left over is the Ghulam. And when it comes to Ghulam versus Skull Knight, as long as your Skull Knight is very very powerful, you don't have to worry about that, especially if you have uh, some backup. Um, so I wasn't too worried there, but then you know we we'll go ahead and clean out the rest of this base. It's actually a different design. A lot of people are using pretty much somewhat of the same uh, base design, which is these ones that I'm going to be showing now. Um, so it's kind of cool to see different base designs nowadays. Um, now on this one, it's pretty much going to be the same team. Um, this is against the, one of the bases that is pretty common. Uh, especially up top in the top 50 or top 100 guilds um, but again you set your areas in one side and the warlock on the other and then the cupid on the other side kind of like a four corner strategy and the main idea behind the cupid is not only to feed them energy but also to give them that huge attack buff that cupid usually gives um, and then once the snipers go in the base that being Ares and the warlock they're more than likely going to die. If not, then you're perfect. But if they do, you're going to go ahead and use Trentar to revive them. And take a look at this, what I do here. Okay, the main the main issue right now is still that Skull Knight. So once I'm seeing that that Skull Knight is being healed, I'm like, oh no. But check out what happens next. So my Ares is still up top. I see that he gets Calamity on the Skull Knight. And then I send my Skull Knight to try and take that one out but unfortunately he had a Valentina totem in there which totally screwed me up. The good thing is is that I have my Ghulam and my own Skull Knight there and they're able to finish it off and then of course uh, my Trentar was still there so Ares was going to be coming back regardless so I was pretty good. Warlock was taken out the other side and then from here on out we just pretty much clean up the base. Trentar for some reason deci decides to start hitting that wall. I'm just like uh, Trentar uh, you, you could you could go around buddy. He you look like a horse you can just jump over that wall come on now right? I mean what is Trentar? He's like a centaur I'm guessing. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Let me know in the comment section. 
Um, and then again, this is a, a variation of this base. The only difference is that they're packing more buildings into the middle of the base. They're basically, they don't want buildings outside of their core, which can be okay. The only problem with this is that you are going to go ahead and give the heroes a lot of buildings to hit before they're even targeted by your heroes. So I find that this base, this particular setup of this base is not as good as the other ones that have a little bit more buildings in the outside, just because you are giving them more access to more buildings in the inside than they can proc on. So right there, we're doing a lot more procs than we would do in a, in a base that had just a few more buildings in the outside. So keep that in mind if you're going to be uh, making a base and you're going to be designing it uh, around this specific design. Here we go, the, uh, the Skull Knight gets pulled over and the Warlock just absolutely destroys that. Did you guys see that? Holy crap, this is why Warlock is one of the best heroes for Guild Wars in my opinion. So... These are some very sniper heavy teams, but they're very, very safe. Now, this next one that I'm going to be showing you, it's not one that I recommend. And this is a, from what I've seen, this is how a lot of people do the, their guild wars. And I do not recommend you guys rate like, like this because this is not a very safe method. So I did it mainly just for video purposes, but don't try this at home, okay? So essentially what a lot of people do is they send their Skull Knight in, and then they just send everybody else in to follow suit and just uh, pretty much head to head like if you were going head to head in arena and it's 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 good because it's a very powerful lineup and especially the pumpkin duke once this pumpkin duke gets going it's really hard to stop but here's the problem let's say something goes absolutely wrong right here i'm already over 50 percent so if something happens i have no way of backing out and i know that it's a lot funner it, you know, it's it's fun to go head to head and you see this big clash between the heroes. But you got to remember, those heroes that you're facing have the towers on their side and they also have the hero bases on their side, giving them a boost. So you're always going to be at a disadvantage. Don't put yourself in that situation. Always stay ahead and make sure that you try to snap out of base without reaching the 50%. If you ever get close and you're not sure, exit out guys but yeah thank you guys for watching and until later